Well, we're sorry about that. We had a temporary uh, lapse in coverage there, but we are back. It's two minutes left to go, and Okaboji just hit a shot that stayed on the rim for, what, a five seconds, Kenny? Yeah, it was up. It hung there. <laughs> Great hustle by Jordan Cruz to save that ball into bounds, but it's 33 to 24 now. Reed Guzzi back into the game, tries a three, does not hit it. Ferguson controls the rebound, drives it in. Nobody picked him up, nobody slowed him down, so he took it all the way to the house there. 35-24, and uh, Coach Kurt Schilling wants to talk things over. We're gonna be back after a short message from our sponsors. This is Craig Manson, branch manager of Security Savings Bank in George. Now is a great time to stop in and discuss our 2013 crop loans. We can help you make sound decisions about your farming operation for the upcoming year. I grew up on a farm and understand the challenges and benefits that go along with farming. I will take time to understand your unique farm operation and the situations you face. Our loans are approved locally by people you know. For help with your farm loans, count on Security Savings Bank of Larchwood, Inwood, George, and Canton. Member FDIC. Thanks again to all of our sponsors here on the GLR Radio Network. We're grateful for all of the uh, assistance and uh, help that they give us to bring you this broadcast. We're at 129 left in the third period. Twenty-four for the Mustangs, thirty-five for Okamboji. Evan Voss to inbound the ball underneath the uh, far basket. For Steg now bringing it across the timeline on the far left side. Gets it to Voss on the right wing. And that pounding defense. Voss gets it over to Reed Guzzi. Skip pass to Tanner Versteg. There's just a lot of hands in the passing lanes here. Versteg tries the jumper. No good. Looks like Evan Voss may... Uh, that was Jake Hillbrands with a foul. Is that Jake? Yep. That's his third. So Okaboji kind of having their way here in this third period. Oh, they might have called that on Jordan Cruz, his first. Oh, it looks like they did. There's a pass into Keaton Jones, saves it in to uh, have it intercepted and out of bounds off Tanner Verstage. So Nielsen gonna inbounds it there. We're going to have a foul called on that inbounds pass off of, went off the Okaboji player, Tyler Ohl, but he was pushed by Guzzi there. So Guzzi's got a foul. That's his third. That is his third. We've got Tanner Downing in for Okaboji. Nielsen top of the key. Downing right wing. Keaton Jones. Nielsen, just inside the three-point line, hits a jumper from outside, 37-24 in favor of Okaboji. Jordan Cruz tries an 18-footer, that's no good. Rebound by Nielsen, gets it over to Ben DeMuth. Gets it to Nielsen on the right wing. Keaton Jones gets a shot off at the buzzer. Kind of a desperation shot almost from a time standpoint, but missed it just by a, an inch there. So we are looking at a 13 point deficit here. Before we start this last period. Yeah, we only scored seven points that quarter. That's uh, that's not going to cut it in the Siouxland Conference. That is uh, that is going to be hard to overcome. That if they don't really flip a switch here in the huddle. 
We've been consistent, but it's not not a good consistent. We see we had nine points in the first quarter and eight points in the second quarter and uh, seven points in the third quarter. So now we need to combine those three for the fourth quarter. There we go. Nine, eight, seven would be what? 23? We need 23 points in this quarter. Yeah. That'll be about right. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Well, Mustangs will inbound the ball on the far sideline there. Tanner Versteg to bring it across the timeline for the Mustangs. Gets it to Hay and Gay. Corselman back in the game. Versteg, Corselman top of the key. We've got a foul called underneath the basket there. That was charged Alex Wurtzma fighting for position down low and got called for an offensive foul. We have a little bit of a coach conference here with the uh, referee. Talking something over with Coach Schelling. So oh, here we are underway again. 7.47 left in the game. Ferguson defended by Hay and Gay. It's a pass across to Severson. Back to Ferguson. Looks at a three-pointer, leaves it. Skips it out to Jones, gets it back, and converts it to a nice layup there under the basket. 39-24 is the score. Boss to Wirtzma, drives the left side, tries this bounce pass to Corsman that goes out of bounds, and it's ruled off the Mustangs. Jake Hilbrandt's coming in to replace Alex Wirtzma. GLR's already committed uh, 17 fouls this half to three against Okoboji. Ferguson to Ohl, nice give and go there. Severson to Ohl, but no good. Oh, we've got uh, player down on the floor for Tyler, Okoboji. Tyler Ohl has not gotten up after that play. So he might be holding that left knee. Left knee, it looks like. So they're attending to his uh, his needs there. You know, it, as uh, as tough a game as this is, with all the contact, it's uh, it's, it's amazing that there aren't more injuries. Yeah, than there that are. they're they're as few as they are. It may be that he just hit his knee pretty hard on the on the court, and that's a mighty hard surface. Uh, looks like he's going to be helped to his feet here. And that's encouraging to see. Yep. He's trying to put some weight on it. Looks like he's, uh, he's nodding acknowledgement to the coaching staff. Yeah, he's coming across the court on his own power, which is really good to see. Yeah. That's the 5'8 uh, junior, Tyler Ohl. Looks like he's going to come out of the game for the time being. And uh, Ben DeMuth is the... Uh, young lad who's come in to replace him for now. So after that little break in the action, we're at 6.58 left in the game. We're looking at a 15-point deficit for the Mustangs. They're going to have to really turn something on to get some Yeah, we're going to have to start making some, making some shots here. Too many missed opportunities. 
There's Hangan with a three pointer. That's that's kind that's of the good right start. start there. That's a three pointer from the far left wing. Pete Jones brings it in on uh, Corsiman, and Corsiman's going to be whistled for that foul. That's going to be his fourth. Coach is uh, admonishing him to close that baseline down. So Keaton Jones at the free throw line. And he has got the first free throw up and no good. Second one up and on the way, and that one is no good. Evan Voss comes up, comes out of there with a rebound. He's he's uh, knocked to the ground, but there's no foul. Mark Burgess comes out of there. Bergeson hits a shot from the left side. Much to the chagrin Mustang fan, we thought there had to have been some kind of foul there. We've got a lot of contact going on here with no fouls called. Austin Hangay lighting it up now. Second shot in a row from Hangay. 41-29, 5.55 left on the clock. There's a slick spot over there on the court. I think Nielsen, uh, Nielsen just slipped on it. That is a uh, disconcerting feeling when you hit a slick spot like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Moving that fast. Yeah. So, Okoboji calling a timeout. Talk some strategy here for the last almost six minutes. Well, we're keeping it here because the uh, uh, injury timeout for Tyler Ohl, he was, he looks like he's up and on his feet again. Although I'm not sure if they'll put him back into the lineup or not. For the uh, for the live set here later, but it was good that he came off the court. Yeah, on his, on own, his power. own power. I always hate to see uh, a serious injury like that to a young, young uh, guy like that. So that was good that he uh, he's going to be all right. 5:48 left on the clock, and uh, we're talking about a 12-point deficit here. 41-29. Horseman in the game with four fouls. Okoboji putting the ball in bounds. And that's uh, Ben DeMuth on the right side. Drives it up to Ferguson. Back to Ferguson. Defended by Tanner Versteg. Keaton Jones drives in on Hillbrands. Gets a, gets a layup. 43-29, 5.24 to go. Tanner Versteg, right side, tries a three, no good. Good rebound by Haygay, gets a shot up. Well defended, no good. So Ferguson's trying to get the ball across the timeline against Tanner Versteg. Does so, gets it to Keaton. Jones over to Severson, top of the key. Back to Jones. Severson down underneath. And uh, defended by Corseman. Couldn't, couldn't foul him, so he's got a two-pointer there. 45-29. Kenny, we're going to have to see some uh, some accelerated growth here at the score. <laughs> oh, no doubt about it. Hey, there's uh, Tanner Verstake from the free throw line. Hits a jumper. 14 points is the deficit at this time. 4.25 on the clock. I think you have to go and back if you're fine to fly the GLR Bulls off to Okoji. Yeah. I think you're right. I think uh, Okoji has really together bounced attack with their uh, Severson and uh, that Keith Jones. They've played very well with Ferguson leading the way for them. Getting a lot of good passes, a lot of good looks at the basket, yep. and they have yep. just flat out converted more shots. Foul was on Reed Guzzi, and that is his fourth. And that was committed against Ben DeMuth, who's now at the free throw line. He's going to shoot two. 
First one's up and good. So, Uzi comes out, Tom Schilling back in, and uh, Corselman out, Evan Voss back in for him. Second free throw's up, no good. Controlled by Jake Hillbrands, gets it to Hayengay who brings it across. Schilling on the right side. Gets it to Versteg. Drives into the lane. Has to adjust the shot, but does so and hits it. 13 points now. The deficit. Ahead to Severson. Defended by Evan Voss. Comes around uh, up and under. Gets a reverse play. Versteg comes down. Hits it immediately. And that. We can't trade baskets with him, though. we got to play some defense here. And have to get things stopped. Now that's a uh, three-pointer. And they're shooting lights out right now. From Dalton Popama, 6'2 senior from the left side. He was left all alone, had time to hit it, and did. And Thomas Schilling tries a three from the other end, and uh, that one didn't quite connect. Versteg trying to D up uh, on Ferguson. Hayengay commits a foul. That'll be called for a blocking foul there. Stops the clock with 2.49. 51.35 is the, is the score. Okoboji has uh, held the lead for most of this ball game. Ten team fouls committed by the Montag against only three committed by Okoboji. See, foul committed now will be two free throws the rest of the night for Okamoji. Second one up and good, 53 to 35. Okamoji in the lead, 244 left on the clock. Versteg tries a 15 footer, no good. Ferguson brings it again across the timeline to Nielsen. And that's Papama to Nielsen. Nielsen Dig gets it, steals it away, and Moss and uh, rips him up. Hey, skip pass all the way by. And Demute and Oku now Hey on the court. Nine. Nielsen on the Papama. Papa T. Ferguson. Then Demuth on left wing. Defended by Schilling. Drives it inside, well defended. He stopped it. He's called, the news called for a three second violation lane. He's trying to well defended there, but the show. Okoboji bring up there, uh, where Biggs driving across the timeline. He's getting, getting it to uh, Schilling over to Hayengay. Tries a three, no good. Tipped out of bounds, it'll belong to the Mustangs. Minute 38 left in the ball game. 53-35. Versteg, 16-footer up and no good. Good hustle by Schilling to get that rebound. Alex Wurtzmug gets the ball on the left wing, right side. Nice foot upper from the left baseline. We've got some new players in. Brent Marshman in. Ball's out of bounds off of Okamoji. Mustangs inbound to Burstay. He's bringing it across to Hayengay Wirtzma. Crossover dribble. Gets it out to Schilt. Tries a three pointer. That's up off the rim. No good. Burstay over the, over the back. Is that the call they're going to make? Substitution here by the Mustangs at the next. Boy, they called uh, in back oh, everybody away from the free throw line, and he'll get free throws, and Okoboji will get the ball. Well, there's a. Uh, there's definitely a feeling of frustration here among the Mustang faithful with the uh, results of this uh, game thus far. That's. Uh, Tanner Downing. Tanner Downing hit the uh, second. That was the uh, 
free throw that was called as a uh, as an intentional. What do they call that a flagrant foul in this league? Yeah, it's intentional foul, intentional I guess. Foul. So now we've got uh, we've got some new guys in here. I'll call them in. Jody Boer is in the game. David Eikens. We've got uh, Taylor Cruz. Colby Clausen. And Elliot McConnell. Yeah, get to getting a little bit of varsity time here in the last minute. There's a nice backdoor cut. Okamoji. And that went out off of uh, Taylor uh, Cruz. Taylor. So Okamoji will have the ball. 42.6 on the clock. 54 to 37 lead. And we're going to pass it around the horn. Alex Heller down into Hunziker. Shot up no good. Rebound by Jake Dodge. And Dodge puts it in. Here's McConnell. Eikens. McConnell three-pointer from the top of the key. Hits that nicely. That's 56 to 40. Ten seconds left. Okamoji with the ball. They're going to just uh, run the clock out. And that'll be the end of it here at the GLR Gym. 56-40 is the final score there. 56-40 to 40 in favor of Okoboji Pioneers. Well, that was a... That was a hard-fought match up there. It was a good. Uh, well, Okoboji had a very well-balanced attack inside and out. Uh, hit shots when they needed to, and uh, good played good solid defense. The uh, they seem to convert percentage-wise quite a few more of those turnovers, and uh, I think that was a big part of the the difference in this game. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, we'll have to see how the uh, how the Mustangs respond to this. It's a uh, I think it's it's always hard to lose a matchup, one that you think you could have won, and I think a few calls could have gone a different way, a few uh, shots could have fallen, but all in all, I don't think they have anything to be uh, to be ashamed of. I think they played a good matchup, and I think they uh, they definitely played a worthy game of basketball. I do think that Okamoji outplayed them, especially in the second half. Yeah, and uh, I think that's the difference in tonight's. Matchup. Yeah, that's going to definitely take the, the GLR boys a, a game or two to kind of feel things out. Uh, you know, we, we graduated a lot of kids that played a lot, a lot of minutes for the last three years. And uh, so we have lots on the floor. And it's going to take, you know, just, yeah, a game or two to find that chemistry and get things figured out. As opposed to Okoboji, you know, they a lot of those kids have been playing since they were freshmen. And, and so they've been playing together for a long time. And... Uh, uh, and that kind of showed on the court tonight. Well, we'll be back to recap the, uh, the scoring and uh, again the final score, 56 to 40, Okaboji Pioneers over the GLR Mustang Boys. We'll be back right after this message. Ben's Plumbing and Repair in Little Rock is a full-service, licensed plumbing contractor. Whether you're working on a brand new construction site, a remodel, or just need some repairs on existing plumbing for residential or commercial property, Ben's Plumbing and Repair is who to call at 712-348-5555. Ben even has a camera that can detect plumbing problems and diagnose issues from the inside of your pipes. See a great video of Ben Eikens, the owner of Ben's Plumbing and Repair, on our sponsor page and give him a call at 712-348-5555. That's Ben's Plumbing and Repair in Little Rock. Jim, John, alongside Kenny Schilling, we're recapping the, the night uh, earlier this evening. The GLR girls won their matchup 57-50. to And in the second half of our doubleheader tonight, uh, Okaboji Pioneers prevailed over the Mustangs. 56 to 40 in the boys matchup. Uh, yeah, just to recap the scores, uh, Okoboji was led Mark Nielsen with eight, uh, Dalton Papamo with six, 
And then you ended up with Ben DeMuth with three, Jake Dodge with two, and Tanner Downing with one. Uh, the Mustangs were led tonight by Tanner Versteg with 13. Uh, Austin Hangay and Evan ba Boss both ended up with seven points. Uh, we got four points from Jordan Cruz, three points from Elliot McConnell, and two points from Jesse Corsiman. So all in all, a, uh, a very balanced attack tonight from Okoboji. Uh, sort of a triple threat there with uh, Severson and, and Bergeson. They're two uh, seniors, you know, that have been playing for a long time, and that showed up tonight with their leadership. And the the rest of their squad is very balanced in their uh, in their uh, attack as well. Um, so we'll be back on the air Friday night. We'll be at uh, Sheldon against the Orups. Uh, tune in at uh, youcanhear.us/glr, and uh, tune in on our Facebook page. Uh, let us know how it's uh, sounding. Kenny, I want to thank you for, for sitting in uh, the co-pilot seat tonight. Hey, I, a great I, job. I appreciate you giving me a call and letting me uh, be able to help out. It, it was fun. It was a fun time. And again, a great time uh, bringing you this action from uh, the GLR Gymnasium tonight. Look for us again Friday night from Sheldon Auditorium. And uh, we'll close up right after this final word from our sponsors. On behalf of the GLR Radio Network, I'd like to personally thank each of the sponsors of this radio broadcast for their assistance in bringing these games to you. Mustang Plumbing and Heating, Total Stop Food Store, Otter Valley Insurance and Real Estate, Northwest Consultants, The Flower Box and The Corner Cup, Dykstra Chiropractic, The Hair Hut, The Cheese Paint and Body, Cut Boutique, Ends Plumbing and Repair, Turner Service, The Lantern Coffee House and Roastery, Security Savings Bank, Frontier Bank, IDepositChecks.com, and Treeshell.com. If you appreciate this broadcast, please let these sponsors know. You can see more information on our broadcast website at www.youcanhear.us slash GLR. Again, you can hear us at youcanhear.us slash GLR. And you can get the GLR app right on your phone so you can easily get in touch with these sponsors. Just text GLR to 72727 and a link with the free mobile app will be on your phone right away. Again, just text GLR to 72727 for the free GLR radio app. Thanks also to the George Little Rock School for the opportunity to be the voice of the Mustangs and to bring this broadcast to you. Thanks again, and thanks for listening. Thanks a lot for having us. Again, the, to recap the scores of tonight's two ball games, the girls' game where GLR was victorious 57-50, to and the boys... Uh, Okaboji Pioneers won that one 56 to 40. Thanks again for being with us and thanks for listening to the GLR Radio Network. We'll see you Friday. You're listening to the GLR Radio Network.